Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you this Yashica TL Electro Camera It's a coming to a 50 1.7 Yashinon DS lens Sorry, Yashinon DS lens So this is the front One side The other side The top And the bottom So uh, The light meter test I will show you in the end of this video in the meantime, oh, it's an M42 lens. Interesting. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I surprise. Okay. Anyways, I'll show you the glass. Okay, the side focusing is nice. Back end, front end. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyways, so uh, I'm going to show you the camera body itself. Mm. Okay, so uh, let's start with 1000 shutter. Okay. Five hundred. Oh, sorry, Okay. 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 Now it's thirty. Now it's fifteen. One over eight. One over four. Half. One second. This is bulk mode. Okay, so all the speeds work. And uh, yeah, there you go. Selling off this camera. If you like this camera, please feel free to let me know. And if you find this video interesting or helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you everyone for watching this. See you. Bye. God bless. Hi guys, now I'm going to show you guys how to put the battery. In order to use the Yashica TL Electro light meter, so I saw online in the user manual on Boot Cruise that this light meter can only tolerate uh, voltage below three volts. It's like it's stated in the manual that I mean on on Boot Cruise that uh, he heard of some people who got their LED inside the light meter burn out from using uh, I think 1.5 volts uh, around 44 times 2 so it's about 3 volts uh, it burned out after like few shots so for the purpose of this test I will use the uh, depleted around 44 so the voltage is not high uh, I'll show you the voltage so all you need is that we have ml 44s which are already depleted or else you can also buy the Wayne cell batteries from me like which i sell i also sell the Wayne cell uh px uh, 675 i sell those also so you know i sell uh, you can see la ml 44 better for your the Wayne cell the Wayne cells uh, it's about 20 plus ringgit each so yeah so for both of these batteries add together is below 3 volts so it should be safe 
show you the voltage. So it's 2.85. So these are the depleted electrolyte force which I will put in. Uh, the cap says that it's negative. So uh, because the battery behind is actually positive, I'm not sure if you can see it clearly. Yeah, so you need to put it like this. Then uh, negative is the top side, so you need to put it down like this. So uh, in such a way. Okay. Okay. So so the cap. <laughs> Distracting. <laughs> It's a bit tricky to screw it in. Alright, so I saw the manual. At first I, did, I thought it's not working. But then I saw the manual that you actually need to actuate the light meter in order for it to work. So you need to press it down. So then you can see the light meter indicator. So I'll show it to you now. I'm not sure if you can see it. So uh, wait, I haven't actuated yet. Okay. okay. Ah, I see. So it works. So there you go. There's a light meter over there. And um, yeah, so remember, you need to actuate it in order to like turn on the light meter for it to work. La. So actuate to work, actuate to work. So there you go. Hope you find this video helpful. And if you do, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you everyone for watching this. Bye. God bless. See you.